In this video, we will introduce some important circuit elements. The first of these is called the resistor. Its resistance R obeys Ohm's law, which states that the potential difference across the resistor, delta V, is given by the current I through the resistor multiplied by its resistance R. Now we can talk about how to calculate potential difference. Let's say we have a resistor and we know that a current flows in this direction. We also happen to know the voltages of the nodes surrounding the resistor. This is called V start to show the node voltage where the current starts entering the resistor. And this is called V end to show the node voltage where the current ends its journey through the resistor. So to find the potential difference across the resistor, the convention is to take V start minus V end. So the point is, you identify the direction of the current and take the voltage from where it starts entering the device minus away the voltage where it exits the device. As an example, let's say we know the voltage here is 5 volts and the voltage here is 2 volts. If the current flows in this direction, we can observe that it starts from 5 volts and ends at 2 volts. So the potential difference is calculated using V start minus V n, which in numbers is 5 minus 2, giving a potential difference of 3 volts. Notice that this is a voltage drop because the node voltage decreases from 5 to 2 as the current flows through the resistor. Next we have voltage sources. There are two types of voltage sources, namely DC voltage sources and AC voltage sources. DC sources are represented like this or like this, while commonly used sinusoidal AC voltage source looks like this and is noted for the sine wave marked on its face. Going to DC sources, we can see that for the DC source on the left, the plus sign indicates the positive terminal and the minus sign indicates the negative terminal. For the DC source on the right, the longer line indicates the positive terminal and the shorter line indicates the negative terminal. What do these terminals mean? First, we must understand the function of the voltage sources. Voltage sources actually predetermine the potential difference across its terminal in a certain orientation. What that means is that it forces the potential difference between its two ends to have a fixed value of whatever voltage value it was designed to prescribe. The orientation of the terminals does matter. The negative terminal indicates the node with a lower voltage value. And the positive terminal is the terminal with a higher voltage value. Let's say we have a DC voltage source like this with a value of 2 volts. What this means is that between its two terminals, there is a change of 2 volts. And how the terminals are connected will affect the voltages of the nodes it's connected to. As an example, let's say I have a node whose voltage value is 3 volts. If I connected this node directly to the minus terminal, the positive terminal will now have a voltage value of 5 volts. If I instead connected the 3 volt node to the positive terminal, the negative terminal will be 1 volt. As you can see, the voltage sources fixes the difference in the voltage between its terminals with the direction indicated by the way you orient the terminals. It's important to know what kind of voltage change to expect depending on the flow of the current. If the current flows like this from the positive terminal to the negative terminal, then the current flows from a higher voltage value to a lower voltage value. Thus, this is a voltage drop. If the current instead flows from the negative to the positive terminal, the voltage changes from a lower to a higher value indicating a voltage gain. 
The next device we want to discuss is the current source. Its purpose is to predetermine the value and direction of the current in the branch it is on. The direction is indicated by the arrow, which in this case, the current flows upwards. The last component of a circuit we need to talk about is the ground. The ground is denoted by either of these two symbols. The ground indicates that the node that the ground is connected to has a voltage value of zero volts. It helps to act as a kind of reference value or a datum, which we take reference from when we find node voltages. Some node voltages can be negative, which is totally fine. 